Hello everyone, I'm Carlos Bravo from the Cloud Alliance's team at Canonical. As you may know already, last month we launched the latest version of Ubuntu, Jammy Jellyfish, or 2204 for its uh, version. And we also did it on AWS for the server version and its pro counterpart. So in this short video, I wanted to show you how easy it is to get started with 2204 and get it running on any, any EC2 instance. As you can see, I'm already at the EC2 console. I'm going to click here on launch instances. I'm going to give it a name. server and as you can see in the new EC2 quick launch uh, menu or interface it's very easy to find what you're looking for because first you have to select the family and from this list you can pick the version what you want and 2204 is already the default option all right then you have to select the architecture we have Ubuntu already optimized for running on x86 and also on ARM instances as well um, then you have to select the instance type. I'm not going to create a keeper because as I mentioned before in other videos, I prefer to use SSM for managing my instances. Then I'm not going to use SSH traffic and I'm going to leave everything by default. I'm going to confirm that I don't need a keeper. For that, I'm going to launch the instance. And there you go. We have Ubuntu server already running on an EC2 instance and now I'm going to launch a second instance having or running Ubuntu Pro server all right what is Ubuntu Pro if, in, in, in case you don't know um, Ubuntu Pro in a nutshell is the same Ubuntu that you already know but with extended security features for example we have uh, the security maintenance goes from the default five years on an LTS release up to 10 years in pro version. Um, also, we are covering not only the main repositories, we are covering also the universe repository, which has uh, a lot of open source applications that you already may be using. For example, Kafka, Cassandra, we have Mongo, Node.js, um, Redis, and the list is huge, MySQL, PHP, uh, and, and runtimes alike, like Python or Java. I don't want to extend, this is huge. Then, um, Ubuntu Pro is not on the same list because it is a premium image as of today. So I have to get it from the marketplace. So instead of jumping into the marketplace, I can, I can choose it here directly. So I'm going to search for Ubuntu Pro, of course. And here on the list, you are going to see all the versions. We have from 14.04 onwards. And also we have the, the FIPS pre-enabled images. Right, uh, FIPS is uh, for running Fedora uh, uh, workloads that require specific kernel versions, uh, specific uh, and certified uh, cryptographic modules, and so on. All right, so I'm going to select Ubuntu Pro 2204 here. Here we'll have the overview, the pricing. Um, the price uh, depends on the instance type, uh, but you only pay as you go. So if you don't have instances running, you're not going to pay anything. Even if you stop the instance, the, the meter stops there. OK, so we have the basics now. We have the a AMI that, I'm, that we are using. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the instance. Right? This is the, the, T2, uh, the T5 large that was there. It's the default, but you can use any instance type that you, you need, it depends on you. Remember that Ubuntu Pro is the same Ubuntu server. It doesn't have uh, minimum requirements. It, it will depend on your and your workloads. OK, I'm going to click here on Launch. I'm not going to create the keeper again and launch again. All right, now the instance is being launched. Uh, it's, it, it is subscribing to the Marketplace MII, so it can take longer. Um, but it's the same process in the end. OK. So here we have it, everything running. Um, and that's it. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.